everyone, it is I, Crooker99, and today is all about the Black Footed Ferret. Walk you back to Reptile Planet. The black footed ferret. Now, the name ferret, for a lot of people, like when you mention the name ferret, a lot of people might prefer something like this. See what I mean? Like, that may be like what they're referring to when they hear the, hear the word ferret. But this type of ferret is not like our, you know, like our domesticated variety, like the ones you just saw. So black-footed ferrets are well, um, basically also known as the American polecat. They do range on the western side of the United States from Texas, North Dakota, South Dakota, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, um, Colorado, basically on the western side in grassy plains. Now. They do reside alongside prairie dog colonies. So basically, if you see prairie dog colonies, there is a chance that there's also be a black-footed ferret along with them. Now, black-footed ferrets are kind of different from our um, from our domesticated variety. Um, let me show you. Give me one second. I'm about to fetch a um, little guest of honor. And a little guest. So this is Nico. Because I mean, you guys probably know already. Hey, buddy. So Nico is a domesticated ferret. So black-footed ferrets are a bit different from our domesticated variety. They're a little more skinnier, whereas Nico here, he's a little more girthy in the belly. His neck's kind of thicker. And our black-footed ferret's neck is a little bit thinner. Now the name black-footed ferret, almost kind of like my buddy here, who has black, kind of like black feet on his front and hind limbs. Black foot ferrets are kind of the same way, so the difference is they have a, they have a little more like a tan, grayish color, um, and they have a black nose and a black tipped tail, where Nico's tail, I mean nose, is basically pink, and his tail is completely black. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Alright, you go have fun. That's my hat. <laughs> that's, my, that's my hat, buddy. That's my hat. You go have fun. So that's the kind of difference between like the domesticated and the black footed ferret. Black footed ferrets are kind of black footed ferrets kind of look like a almost kind of like a light tannish, almost kind of like a golden brown kind of thing, where they have black limbs, uh, hence their name, but their nose are typically black and the tip of their tail is has a black um, tip to it. It's a little more different from our domesticated um, ferrets, and um, they're a little more skinnier, more slender because they do since they tend to stay with um, prairie dog colonies. Their slim body helps them navigate through tunnels a lot more easy. Now these ferrets do have a variety of diet, but since they still live near prairie dogs, 90% of their diet consists of prairie dogs. And that's only like every three days, only every th every th one every three days. Whereas yeah, the other 10% comes from their other food sources, from such as rodents and squirrels. So that's basically based off their diet. 9% of it is from prairie dogs, the other 10% is from other rodent species. So yeah. And um, for their breeding season, um, they do breed ten, uh, basically between March and April. So their offspring can range around to around um, 3 to 5 kits or about 1 to 7 kits at maximum. Now these ferrets are critically endangered to the habitat loss um, which is causing their numbers to decrease. So based on a lot of conservation, conservation projects are hoping to keep the species alive and that way um, their numbers won't, won't go any lower and hopefully they won't be rendered extinct in the wild. They do play a natural role to keep the nature in balance. So hopefully with plenty of um, conservation projects being taken place, these ferrets will be able to thrive in their habitats once again. Black-footed ferrets are definitely an interesting um, species of um, polecat. Um, 
you do see one in the wild, maintain your distance. Um, don't basically um, interact with these creatures, though they can if other people fight, threaten. Many animals and signals run away. If they feel confrontation, they can deliver a people bite. Their sharp teeth can cause some pain and definitely will not be good. Alright, that is the Black Footed Parent. If you enjoyed the video, please like the button and of course post down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys next time. See you later.